My mother testified as to the conditions that I would be going to school under. And I also testified the things about the bus ride and how crowded it was and the length of time it took us to get there. And you remember that day pretty well, being in the courtroom? I do remember. It was, to me, the biggest room in the world, but it wasn't as I've seen it as an adult. How old were you? I was 10. And what grade were you in? I was uh, just going to the fifth grade, I think. The day that I did go to testify, it seemed like there was an awful lot of people in that courtroom. I believe there was three judges. I was taken up to the front and told to sit in that little seat where they, you testify from. They asked me, did I know right from wrong? And uh, he started to ask me questions. They told me not to be afraid. They asked me, um, how long did I wait on a bus? It, it depended on the weather, if the bus was late. Um, when I got on the bus, usually always I could find a seat. But by the time we would get to town, the buses would be full. There would be maybe kids, four and five, in a seat. If you could get a little corner of a seat, you were lucky. And then the other kids would be standing in there. And what were your feelings afterwards, after you testified? Did you have any proud feelings? Were you nervous? No. I, I think after listening to the adults, I started having that thought, well, school's going to start soon. And I was wondering, I had heard so much about what's going to happen to the black teachers if the schools were integrated. And so I started thinking, have I done something that they're going to be mad at me for, the teachers? when I go back to school, but it was okay. And I can remember when it was over, coming down off of the stand and leaving that courtroom. And of course, my mom told me I did a good job, you know, but I did not really understand the whole significance or how important that was at that time. 